Well, Donnie, talk about the first weekend on the road, tough environment. You guys come away with the win. Could have had more, but overall, pleased with the, the first weekend in play? Yeah, I mean, there's you're always surprised with your club, especially the first weekend. I thought we defended better than we would. Um, I thought we pitched a little bit better than we would, and, and I don't think we swing the bats as well as I thought we would. So, you, you know, you can go out with an idea how you're going to play, and it's never the right. You know, it's never, you're never right. But uh, there's definitely some positives. It's always tough on, on the road when you lose that last game because you're, you know, you're, you're fuming and you're thinking about that last ball game. But, you know, if you really break it down, you got beat in a good game on Friday night. Um, had to sit out the, the, the rain out game on Saturday and doubleheader on Sunday. Great 22 innings of the ball game. You know, 13 inning game to come out ahead uh, is nice. And then, uh, you know, shoot, we led for eight innings and we just didn't finish the game. It's something we'll learn from and hopefully it'll be a great learning experience. Um, but you're right, it's always nice to play a good club and a good environment. And and uh, and, and there's a lot to, to learn from that experience. Jason Mott is a guy who had a, a tremendous weekend offensively. Good to see him getting back into it considering how much he had to sit out at the end of 2011. Yeah, I mean, it's just... Uh, you know, and Jace would never tell you, and everybody knew about the mono when he had mono last year and missed all that time, but he was really nicked up all year. He had a wrist, he had a knee, he had a hamstring. He just, he was never 100%. And if he can stay healthy, um, you know, I, I've done a poor job this in my career, so I, I don't want to do it today, but you're looking at a really gifted player. I mean, there's just not a lot of guys running around the <laughs> In college baseball, that look like Jason and and has the, have the physical tools that he has. The great thing about Jason is that, um, you know, the tool that you can't see the mental side of the game, he's got it. You know, and he's and he just he's such a great person. He's a great kid. He comes from a tremendous family. Greg and Don have done such a great job with him. He just, uh, you know, he's the complete package. And you just hope that he can just um, continue to get better. And and the only way you get better is to work and. And you don't worry about that with Jason. He's uh, he's a lunch pail type kid. He's going to come every day. He's going to work hard and get better. And he's going to think about his teammates first. He's just uh, he's unselfish. And I mean, you could just you could just talk for for days about a guy like Jason Mondo. Looking ahead, you get a, a four game series, weather permitting, this weekend uh, at home. But it kicks off seven straight at home for you guys. What do you need to accomplish over the next two weekends? Not just in terms of wins and losses, but what do you need to find out about your club over the next couple weeks? Well, you, you need to you need to hopefully um, learn from your mistakes from the past. You know, um, you know, practice is about inexpensive experience, and then you go in ball games and become expensive experience. Uh, there's some things we didn't do well. Um, you know, some routine things that uh, that we have to be able to do in a game. We we've done a lot of nice things in practice, but when it comes to some of the offensive things and um, on the offensive end, we 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 uh, didn't execute well like I'd like us to. Um, so we have to be able to do that in a game. So the only way you get better, I think, at this point of the season is get in get play people. And um, and obviously we get the opportunity to play four games this weekend. Um, and, and there's a lot of things I want this club to do exactly how they did. Um, but there are some things that we need to do differently. Uh, we need to do a way better job on the offensive end with two strikes. We struck out way too many times. And uh, Mississippi State had a good pitching, obviously a super regional team last year with all those arms back. So it wasn't like we weren't facing good arms. But uh, we didn't make Mississippi State make as many plays as they needed to make. So we need to continue to put pressure on, uh, on our defense, which we did in the first weekend. Um, and I think that's the first thing you'll notice with our club, and that's what we'll go to work uh, on today. Um, and then we're, you know, with four games, a little bit different than three because of – uh, you know your bullpen and how you're going to use certain guys, so that's kind of a little bit up in the air um, for us. Um, but I, like I said, we're, we're just excited to, to practice this week. I, I like this team because I think they like to practice. I think it's important to them. I think they understand that it's it's process over results, and process is practice, and results are games. Um, so we'll go to work this week, and we'll really try to um, hone up on some of the things that we didn't do so well in Mississippi. You alluded to the pitching. That was my last question for you. Is that did you, did you find somebody that you, you think's the leader in the clubhouse for the, the fourth start this weekend? Well, it'd be a little different situation. You know, Tanner Cleberat had a great outing on Sunday, and he he will be missing um, this weekend uh, due to a due to a funeral in the family, and um, so that changes our rotation a little bit um, and who those third and fourth guys are. Uh, if I just project today, those third and fourth starters are guys that didn't even travel this weekend um, that we think are really talented. Um, but there are some, definitely, if you looked at the bright spots of the weekend, I thought it was our um, our defense and then our pitching and our young pitching. If you look at game one. I think we threw six or seven arms, and none of them were juniors or seniors. They're all freshmen and sophomores. Um, and it's nice to see guys do something. You've, you know, it's nice to see guys out there for the first time. Obviously, Tanner was a um, was a great spot for us on Sunday, but 
it wasn't a surprise. I think he's tremendously gifted. Um, but I so but I think the bright spot, the brightest spot of the weekend was Scott Simon. Um, you know, Scott was kind of slated to be that third starter um, going into the spring, and, and Tanner had just outpitched him. To be just completely frank and honest with you on that, but that didn't deter Scott. He was great out of the bullpen. Um, I don't know what where that's going to lead Scott. Whether it's in the rotation, whether he's the setup type guy, but he was. I thought um, really, really under control, and he showed great poise, and he showed great composure in tough situations. So um, there are lots of bright spots. You know, Leroy was great, and uh, the Jackson boys got in there. There's a lot of guys that got in there that were great, but I just, I really think that Scotty, for me, that really stuck out to me that uh, he pitched really, really well. All right. Thanks for the time. Best luck this weekend. Thanks.